Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. With Johnny Nelson, how's it going, Johnny? What's in voice? Welcome to Sheffield. Yeah, welcome uh, again. Last time we were here, it was uh, Carl Brook versus Errol Spence. Mm. Uh, didn't go the way we wanted it to, and, mm. uh, and obviously yourself as well. Yeah, of course. For such a long time, um, it's his homecoming. Um, glad to be back in Sheffield, first of all, as well. It's Christmas. nice to be back in Sheffield. You know, I spend a lot of time down in London, but it's just nice to be back home. And it's just. Uh, I'm seeing the boys, same story, different actors, isn't it? Everybody's getting the opportunity. For Kel Brook, it's nice that he's, he's back in Sheffield in the mix. Obviously, the last time he boxed it at Bramall Lane, uh, he was good for the whole city, uh, for business, uh, for vibe, for atmosphere. It's, it's a pity result. the result was what it was, but hopefully Kel can get himself back to that stage again. Uh, filling out the, uh, uh, the, the Sheffield United ground, quite clearly that opponent is something like a Mia Khan or something like that. I think this fight will tell us how much... Uh, Kel, how much desire Kel has left for for the game? Uh, it also tell us that his performance should tell us how well he is at light heavyweight, at light middleweight, rather than welterweight. Um, I've thought Kel should have been a welterweight, a light middleweight from probably two years ago, but he's been able to do that and perform at world level. So now I think to perform at world level, that is going to be a light middleweight, and he, he, he's more than got the ability to do that. Yeah, I mean, have you spent some time with him in, in camp, or do you know what kind of? He's been, he's been away. I've been in touch with the boys. He's been away. He's happy. He's happy. He's in a happy place, and it's a good vibe in the gym. There's, there's him, uh, Kid Galahad, uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, there's a lot of kids going through there. Uh, I think Tyson Fury has joined the mix with him now and again. So it's just, it's just a good vibe. It's that good banter, and that's something that's most important in our gym anyway. And with the announcement last week of, uh, of Amir Khan joining Matchroom, um, I take it you were shocked as well. I don't want to make you spill your. your I coffee. think, yeah, you know what? I actually think I've criticised Amir Khan for the past two years, not for his boxing ability. I've criticised him for his his decisions uh, in regards to his uh, into where he's going, to, into reasons why he's not had certain fights. As a fighter, he's probably one of the fastest fighters I've ever seen. Uh, I think now, I think he's, he's now he's he's made a good decision. I think for his career, even if a Brook fight comes off or not, I think he's made a good a good move for his career uh, because he needs to be active. He's a fighter. Uh, uh, he's been out in the ring for the last two years. We're, we're missing some good time, some good uh, parts of his his his, his army, his, his boxing ability. So it's it's now time to, to him to, for him to get in the ring, box, and do what he does. Yeah, and. Um if you had to, do you think that fight will happen? I mean, you know what, I, 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 I would, I, I, I'm not even getting excited about it because it's <laughs> housekeeping now. You know, Mia Khan, is he coming back at welterweight or like middleweight? Uh, Kel Brook, you know, and this is the difference. If this fight's made a, if Kel and Amir's made a, a welterweight, I'd have to side with Amir. If Kel and Amir's made a, 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 a light middleweight, then I'd, I'd, think, I'd say Kel, but I can't even put my heart, hand on heart to, to say that until I see Kel perform. And then I see um, Amir performing in Liverpool in April because I want to see what both fighters have got left, what both fighters have got, how the desire is, how, they, how, how that, that layer for the topsy turvy two last two years Kells had has affected him. So ask me this question after Kells box and after Amir's box, and I'll have a more definitive answer in regards to how I think that would go. Brilliant. Johnny, uh, once again, thank you, and thank you. Uh, we'll see you fight night. You and the post fight night. Nice Cheers. One. Thank you.